Hello everyone, this is Miquel Duran from Girona, Spain. It's near Barcelona. So uh, today I will share a little presentation with you where uh, and we talk about the use of, of games, of cards and card decks to teach and deliver explanations on cryptography. So we have been uh, using magic for public understanding and awareness of science and for science education. We have a, long, a rather long experience with uh, Professor Fernando Vasco, who is a co-author here, uh, to, for instance, with the periodic table of the elements in international year 2019, but we also deliver all kinds of efforts. For instance, we are using out of this world and out of the university magic tricks to teach a little bit about uh, entropy. Entropy from informational point of view and entropy from the thermodynamics point of view. I myself, I am a quantum chemist. Uh, another example that we deliver is the quantum tunnel effect. It's very, very difficult to teach to lay people. So what we do is to use the Meshi's car trick where a car penetrates or crosses a huge amount of cards. So uh, there are several magic things that can be done with cards, but for quantum computation, we use the properties of cards, red and black cards that stay as zero and one. Red cards maybe just state zero and black cards maybe state one. And also the bars can be different. What can we teach and explain about playing cards in quantum science? Randomness, different states being qubits, quantum concepts like superposition and entanglement that are at the basics of quantum computations. We can also teach a little bit about gates and uh, algorithms are far more difficult. You must understand that quantum science observating something that's on superposition is different from using a gate like an operator. Observation destroys superposition and destroys quantum effects. So how do we represent a classical card? We take a, a stacked deck of cards and we mix them truly. We just look at the first one. Oh, red or black? Black. It was already red or black before we turned the card over and we took a look at it. However, we can use another deck of cards and we put, can put them into superposition. It is red and black at the same time before we carried out the observation just by turning the card. This is the most important difference between a quantum card and a classic card between qubit and a bit. We also can teach about the block sphere, that's the basic of qubits in quantum computation, north, south, east, west, back and front. We can also use a three different backed uh, deck of cards to teach about these three ways of seeing qubits. We can we also use a deck of cards to teach entanglement, but entanglement between two or more qubits. One deck of cards for one qubit, another deck of cards for another qubit, and we can play, we can play for instance, using the Gilbert's principle. So uh, you just truly mix, for instance, through a Rosetta shuffle, and uh, when you look at deck, deck pack number one and you see red, the other one instantly is black, or if the first one is black, the other is red. This instant action at a distance, the spooky effect that Einstein didn't like very much can be easily taught with decks of cards. And we can also talk about quantum gates. Quantum gates are similar to normal classical operators in, in classical computing with bits, okay? But how can we really teach well with qubit gates and card magic, okay? So we have a stack of cards and that is just the, it illustrates 52 values of the probability of getting a measure. So, so we, we can also use Svengali and invisible decks, a combination, so we can have, you can uh, reveal either black cards or red cards of both at the same time. And we can explain the, the Hadamard quantum gate that puts a qubit into superposition. It is a reversible gate. We can even try to improve teaching and explaining quantum entanglement, okay? How we can, we must use two packs of cards and 
as I told you before, we can use the Gilbert principle to explain and to teach the C not, the conditional not gate, to uh, in quantum computing. We can also use it in a different way from quantum cryptography. That's what the Chinese are doing very, very well. They are delivering one-time pads where, where Alice and Bob interchange messages. And even you can know that spy if, okay, is spying. However, we cannot yet deliver well at quantum algorithms. Um, there is a hype with quantum computing. So we are looking for a way to explain that, to use ex the Bruins station to the Gilbert principle. And we want to deliver new ways of, of um, delivering this in G4, G15. So thank you very much. That's it. And I uh, thank you very much.